oil. Paprika. Bully Max, good afternoon. Bully Max, early dinner? Yeah, buddy. Early dinner for me. But thank you for jumping on the live, man. Um, yeah, man. Oh, thought I'd just do a quick cooking live. But thank you for jumping on the live, everyone that's on the live. Let's see. cooking lives I always like to wait like a good 10 minutes before I get started to give everyone some time to jump on the live and what what have you you know uh, I got done at work very early I thought I need to do things uh, around one or two but um I guess I'm all good I'm good for the rest of the day so I went out and bought all my ingredients and now I'm here and I'm just hanging out, waiting for everyone to jump on the live, who's still trying to get on the live. Ernestine Perry, what are you cooking? Uh, you're going to have to read the title of the of the live, because uh, if I keep saying what I'm cooking, then I'm going to be repeating myself like 20 times throughout the live. But thank you for jumping on the live. Um, let's let the live stream breathe. Huh? Yeah, buddy. So yeah, uh, when I get started, I always like to wait like a good 10 minutes before before I start the cooking live. I uh, love music. You're one away from 600, bro. What's up, boss? Dang, thanks, love music. But yeah, uh, ever since yesterday's fiasco, <laughs> I've lost like four or five people and then I jumped back up. It's like the stock market right now, but uh, you know, but thank you, man. Uh, like I said, I don't really count subscribers, you know. I just keep doing my thing, you know. I do my cooking lives. I do my travel, I do my exploring, and I'm just being myself. Let's see, little bully Max. I was thinking salmon today too, dang. But yeah, if you and, and you gotta look at the the picture of the uh the the the, the live. So yeah, <laughs> Christmas just eating dinner all early. Hey, but yeah, um, but yeah, I I like eating dinner early. And yeah, I, I thought I'd just jump on the live, but hopefully someone else will go live tonight. Uh, Bully Max, sensitive people. Yes, Bully Max, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just here hanging out for a good uh, 10, 15 minutes, and then uh, I'll go ahead and get started with the cooking live. But you know, um, I went to a different place to get asparagus. Normally when I get asparagus, they're like really skinny, and there's like 20 of them in a bunch in it. It's like really small and they're like really really small asparagus really skinny and look at these asparagus I got man these these things are freaking big and I'm like man these asparagus this is how asparagus should be like freaking big and I bought these over at uh, Safeway so I think I'm gonna start getting my asparagus at Safeway so I'm like man these are really big thick asparagus but, uh, Navajo Mama, hello, my littles are having spaghetti, Caesar salad, and garlic bread. Dang, that sounds really good. But yeah, on one of my last cooking lives, um, I think I deleted it, or I think it's on private right now. Um, I made spaghetti and meatballs. I handmade the meatballs, and the spaghetti I didn't handmake. I just used the one from the box, but yeah, I handmade spaghetti, or, uh, the meatballs. Love music, 600 subs, 600 push -ups. Hey, no way, Jose. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. I'll probably die. I'll probably die halfway when I do like barely one. Hey. Uh, Michelle, good afternoon, Mr. Ryan. Good afternoon, everyone on the live. Good afternoon, Michelle. Good to have you on the live. I hope your day is going quite well. Let me grab my water real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
but uh, before I do my cooking lives, I always like to wait like a good 10, 15 minutes before I go ahead and get started. It gives everyone a chance to settle in and we go ahead and get started. Simone, so early, laugh out loud. Yeah, I like to eat early because lately I've been eating really late and yesterday I ate, I ate, I ate early too, about the same time. So, so I, uh, I'm eating early because, you know, some people are, hmm, I don't know. I, I just wanted to eat early and I had a lot of time on my hands and I just wanted to do this live too. But I like eating early because it, I, it helps digest my food better and when I take my vitamins, it gives me like a little bit of a kick of an energy. So that's why I like eating early. I'm able to digest all my food properly and all of my vitamins are in my system. So I can relax the rest of the night and if someone goes live, I'll be happy for that too. But, um, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Ta, what up, bro? I'm eating a grizzly. I'm eating a grizzly watching you cook. You're cooking live. When you mean eating a grizzly, do you mean the chew or you mean the grizzly atoms? Or what, what are you talking about? Let me know. Todd, what are you talking about? You know, I used to chew too. Um, I used to smoke. Then I got off cigarettes by chewing, and I tried, I tried the grizzly, the the fine one. I didn't like it. Get, gave me a stomachache. And then I found out about Levi Garrett, and man, that was really sweet and chewy like honey. And and then I I got a little sick after. I, I was chewing for almost like a good six months, I think it was. And then I just stopped cold turkey. So I used to chew. No shame in chewing. But I don't chew anymore though. I don't chew or smoke. Todd, ah, Grizzly is a hot dog, bro. <laughs> uh, I didn't, you know what? I, didn't, I never knew that. I never knew a Grizzly was called a hot dog. I heard them call Frank Frankfurters, but I've never heard them called Grizzlies. Pretty cool. I learned something new today. Uh, Michelle, my day is going amazing. My boy is home, safe and sound. He's all tuckered out, sound asleep. He breached every he beach every day with his dad and family thing went going to the beach every day man uh there's one beach i went to it's all it was in um it was between texas and louisiana it was really nice the sand was really fine the grass was really i don't know what what they call it but there's like grass on the beach i don't know what it's called it's not grass though but um beach beach plants i don't know I, I guess i could call it beach plants but um yeah it was really nice and i went there with my mom my dad my sister and my little brother we said oh let's just go to the beach we parked the car really far from the road or uh right near the road but and the beach was probably like a few feet from the road and i guess they had a they had a storm warning right after that and they had to close the roads and they told us we had to leave it was really nice i can't remember what the beach was called though but I can tell you this, it was between Louisiana and Texas. Somewhere near the border between those two states. It was really nice though. But thank you everyone for jumping on the live and good afternoon. Welcome to my cooking live, Raven's Kitchen. My name is Mr. Ryan for those of you that are new. Welcome, or my name is just Ryan if you just wanna call me Ryan. You don't have to call me Mr. But welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm gonna get started here in a bit. Nine minutes and 25 seconds, okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to get started here in a bit, so then that way you guys can see what I'm cooking for this afternoon. I know this cooking live is a little early, but uh, um, I just want to do it a lot. I just want to do it early because, I don't know, I've been just feeling tired lately. I've just been, well, yesterday I fell asleep a little later than I should have. And I slept into a point to where I'm still a little sleepy. Uh, let's see, Michelle, that's such a wonderful memory, Mr. Ryan. Yeah, like, uh, there's a lot of things I remember, and there are some things I don't remember, but that's one of those memories I can recall as a kid. Well, not as a kid. Uh, that's when my folks went to go see me, and we decided to take a random trip to the beach. Mm, let's see, Bully Max, soundy, sound all professional. Welcome to my cooking channel. Hey, nope, this ain't a cooking channel. 
That's why I stopped doing cooking lives because people kept calling my channel a cooking channel. So that's why I don't do cooking lives as much as I used to. That and, you know, uh, ingredients started getting really expensive. So I used to do my cooking lives once a week, but now I only do my cooking lives once in a blue moon. And the whole time I've been doing my cooking lives, I realized I've never cooked a salmon. So there's various ways on how people cook salmon. You can use the grill outside, you can use an oven, you can even use it as a saute or on the on the stove top with the pan, with butter, and you know, some people use wine, but I'm not using wine on my ingredients. But the way I'll be cooking my salmon today is I'll be using my uh, air fryer over there. Uh, Bully Max, no, just saying you sound professional. Oh, cool, thanks man, but yeah, um, this is a, a little segment I like to do on my, my channel. It's called Raven's Kitchen. And if you guys don't know, my logo is a raven. So yeah, not a crow. But yeah, but um, when I went shopping to Safeway, look at these big old asparagus. When I normally go shopping at Fry's, the asparagus are really like half the size of this. And I decided to go to Safeway because I was looking for some coffee. And I was very curious. I was like, I don't know what the asparagus look like. And I freaked out on how big these asparagus were. Because this is, this is how asparagus should look. It shouldn't be all scrawny and skinny. So yeah, man. Uh, let's see. 12 minutes. Okay. All right, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started here. And I'm going to leave this live up so you guys can learn how to cook salmon, you know. Get full, get full off of one asparagus. I know, but I'm gonna use this much asparagus for my, for my uh, little miniature feast right here. But uh, let me turn down the volume on the TV real quick. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing we're gonna cook here is the salmon. We're gonna coat it and everything. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my vegetables. And let me move everything out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Move. Move. My little mixing bowl here. But of course, when you're cooking with fish, you got to use... You gotta, I wash my hands a lot when, I, when I'm cooking with fish. I know some people don't like fish, but um, but this is uh, I love fish, especially salmon. Very, very good, very, very good. So I'll be making salmon today. Okay. Todd, remember on Austin Powers when he goes pee? He <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And then um, that was funny. There's like a there was like a tray of asparagus, and he grabs one. I like how crunchy they were, though. <laughs> Michelle, salmon and asparagus is a match made in heaven. Yum, I know, right? But okay, let's go ahead and move this out of the way first. First thing I'm gonna prepare are the vegetables. So let me go ahead and how can I do this? Uh. Sorry, everyone, I'm just a little lost right now. It's been a while since I've done a cooking live. Um, oh, I know how to do this. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Let me flip it. Oh, wrong way. Okay, so I got my bowl here. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. I got myself some small little baby potatoes. Man, they're just rolling everywhere. So, these are the potatoes I use. You can use whatever potatoes you want, but, um... Whoa, I think I get a new tripod. Or a new... Yeah, I gotta get a new tripod. It's not working right. But anyways, um... These are the potatoes I like using. Uh, you can use whatever potatoes you want, but... The, I, the reason why I like using these ones is because um, they're real waxy and once you cut them in half and you put them in the air fryer, 
they cook very fast. So this meal is all about trying to hurry up and cook fast. So this is why these are, I like using these ones and they're like different colors. So they're pretty cool. And they come in this bag right here. They're called Petite Melantilly Gourmet Potatoes. So this is the bag it comes in. You can buy these at Fry's and if you look at the potato section, they have like different types of potatoes. So these are different colors or you can just plain get the, the white ones or you can even just get plain uh, red ones. But let me rinse them off before I start cutting into them. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Mr. Ryan and this is a special segment I like doing on my on my channel called Raven's Kitchen. I, I walk through everything that I cook and how to cook it and for how long. So if you guys have any questions about the food or how it's being prepared, just, uh, just ask away. I don't mind. Okay. So I like to rinse off my potatoes, but I think I'm gonna add just two more because it seems like it's not enough. Because I love me some potatoes. Because if there's one thing I grew up with a lot is potatoes. Add two more. Or four more. Okay, let me see if I can angle the camera just right. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, come on. So I'm put this right here. Okay, there we go. And of course, I'm gonna put it in this bowl right here. Dang it, I need like a bigger countertop. I'm gonna move this over here, scoop this right over here. But let me see. Uh, Jerry Curl, hi, Mr. Ryan. Remember to hit the like button. Looks healthy, thank you. You know, I try to eat as healthy as I can. Sometimes I go, go a little overboard with what I'm eating, but um, you know, I try to keep it. I try to keep it as healthy as I can. Or even if I'm going out, I try to keep it as healthy. But Jerry Curl, thank you for jumping on the live. So when you're baking potatoes or trying to roast them, you gotta make sure they're all the same size. If they're not the same size, uh, one of them might cook faster than the other. So you can't have too big, thick of a potatoes. And this is why I like these potatoes, the ones that are different colors, because some of these potatoes are kind of like a purple color. They have no taste to it, but um, I just like the color of it to give the dish a little bit more flavor and a little bit more color, you know? But for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Let's see, Gloria Stash, hello, Ryan. Finally caught your live. Thank you, Gloria. Good to have you on the live and I hope you're enjoying your day. Um, also, what you could do is you can go ahead and peel them if you want. But me, I just like eating it with the skin because it gives it like an extra crunch to it. And I always like to look to see if it has like a little bit of things growing on it. And I always like to cut it off to make sure I don't get sick. Tonya, hello, Mr. Ryan with the happy face. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, Tonya? Good to have you on the live. Uh, me, I'm just starting my cooking live and, you know, I thought I'd just come on as quickly as I can. Gloria, don't slice your thumb. Oh yeah, I've, I've had that happen a few times. But um, these knives here, they're really nice and I like these knives. Yeah. 
And there we go. There's all my potatoes. I know this is gonna be a lot of potatoes, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and save the rest of po the potatoes for tomorrow. But here are my potatoes. So I like to mix them together, but um, I'm also gonna cut up my asparagus here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the ends of the asparagus. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna grab my olive oil, my pepper, and my salt here and mix in everything. So let me put this off to the side. Christmas, Yaj, watch your fingers. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I know I'm a little dangerous with my knives, but you know, it's wild, it's wild, but thank you everyone for your concern. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are really, these are like giant asparagus I got over at, um, over at, um, Safeway. Normally I would get like a bunch of asparagus and they would be the half a size of this right here. But these are like giant asparagus that I got over at Fry's. Or at, at um, not Fry's, at uh, Safeway. How big they are. Look at it. Look at it. I always like to cut off the ends of it, you know, where it's white, you know. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there right here and right here I know it's like the half of the size of how it should be but I was I don't like eating the uh, ugly parts end of it let's see Tony I'm doing good woke up from my nap thing I was gonna take a nap too but I still felt awake though uh, Christmas, I love seeing how asparagus grows. Oh, yeah, I've seen some of those videos where asparagus grows. It's pretty cool. Love music, them asparagus. You can beat down somebody with that huge... <laughs> uh, yeah. But, yeah, man, here's my uh, here's my vegetables I'll be eating with my salmon. I mixed up some different color potatoes, and I mixed me up some giant asparagus. So what I'm going to do now is... Uh, uh, let me angle this just right. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to grab my olive oil. This is the olive oil I use. Let's see. Jerry Curl, I got mine at Fry's for $147 a pound. Dang! But yeah, um, I, I seen that too. But the asparagus at the Fry's I have, they're not as big as these ones though. Either that or people are getting the bigger ones and they're leaving the crappy small ones there, you know. So what I'm going to do now is get some olive oil on all my vegetables. Get some pepper. I know it's a lot of pepper, but I love pepper on my my food let's see love music them asparagus you can beat down somebody with that big old huge <laughs> michelle laughing face but yeah thank you everyone for jumping on the live i'm just doing my cooking live and i said a lot of people have been asking me when i'm gonna do my next cooking live and here it is and you can put on gloves if you want to mix these all together but since i'm the only one going to be eating this I, i'm going to use my own hands so this is what I like to do. Mix up everything and make sure everything's all coated perfectly together. And of course, don't forget the asparagus. Make sure everything's coated in nicely. There we go. Make sure all the asparagus is coated perfectly too. And the salt I'm using is kosher salt. It's coarse, so that means it's kind of thick. And there we go. All my vegetables are coated. You can add whatever vegetables you want to the ingredient. You can add carrots, you can add uh, celery to it. But uh, for me, I'm just gonna keep it simple with potatoes and asparagus here. Let me move that off to the side. I'm gonna let those sit for a good minute. And I'm gonna prepare the salmon next.
Okay, let me move this off to the side for now. And I'm gonna prepare my salmon here. Really nice big chunk of salmon. I got this on sale at Fry's. I think it was like 11 bucks. Really good, decently good size. Um, people were asking how, why, why they sell like a big old chunks like this. Because what they do at grocery stores is they normally sell like a big old salmon. And when it comes very close to it expir expiring, so maybe like five days out, what they'll do is they'll take bits of the salmon, they'll put it in individual wrappers and they'll sell those individually. So this is the big old salmon I got. And I think it was gonna expire in like three days, but I got it on sale and I decided to go ahead and use it. Uh, let's see, da, 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 da. Michelle laughing face. Y'all's a family, looks good, looks good. Uh, our dinner is lasagna, chef salad, and garlic bread. Day hey, lasagna. I haven't had lasagna in a long time. I'm already mad at Warren for, for saying lasagna now. So for this salmon, this is what we're going to do. What we're going to need for our salmon here is a lemon, paprika, salt, you know, you could use whatever salt you want, but I'm using, using kosher. People use Himalayan salt, some people use regular salt, and some people use uh, sea salt, but I'm using kosher. Uh, pepper, and some olive oil. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way, scoop this down. I'm gonna rinse off my lemons. Christmas, dang, salmon hack, laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, some of these uh, recipes, I see it online and then I memorize it and I forgot where, they, where the recipe comes from. Gerald Milford, salmon too dry. I prefer tilapia not tr or trout, dang. Yeah, like uh, I was gonna make tilapia, but I haven't made salmon in a good minute. So don't forget to pat your salmon dry. Some people don't do that, but I prefer doing that so it's easy to work with so let's see there we go and of course you gotta flip it over to get the other side and of course i'm gonna be eating the scamming with scamming <laughs> scamming the salmon with the skin on so there we go look how good that looks make sure you pat it nice and dry And there we go. You got yourself a decently nice fish. Let's see, yum yazi family from Michelle. So, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reheat. No, I should wait till, wait till I'm done here. But next thing is I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, what was it I do? I forgot. Oh yeah, I'm gonna grab my olive oil here. Sprinkle just a good amount on my salmon. Then of course, like I said, if you wanna put gloves on or you're feeding everyone, make sure you use gloves. But since I'm gonna be eating this thing by myself, I'm not gonna use glove. So make sure you rub the olive oil all over the salmon. Make sure you get the back of it too. And if you don't have enough olive oil to get the whole salmon, make sure you add more olive oil to the salmon. But uh, right now, I think I should have enough olive oil on my salmon for the time being. Yeah, I think this should be good. Make sure you coat the whole thing perfectly because you don't want uh, you don't want your salmon to get burnt halfway through. All right, now I'm gonna rinse my hands off. Rinse my hands off and wash it off good. So what I like to do is, 
cook my salmon first and then followed up, followed up by my vegetables because for me, I like to let my salmon rest before I start eating it because it's really hot. But the only thing I like to eat when it's nice and warm and really hot is my vegetables. And now that your salmon is nicely coated, this is what I like to do. Like some people like this, cut it up and start squeezing it on there, but this is what I'm gonna do. This is our grater, so I'm gonna get the grades of the lemon onto my salmon. I don't normally do this, but um, it's been a while since I've done a cooking live, so I thought I'd be a little extra with it. And see, there's some grades left on there, so make sure you get it in there nicely. So this is basically gonna be a lemon salmon. Tastes really lemony. All right, let me rinse off my hands. So basically this lemon is gonna be very sweet. Uh, Annalie, OMG, that looks good. Looks really good, thank you. Thank you for jumping on the live, Annalie. And next thing you're gonna wanna add is your paprika. Some pepper. Some salt. And of course, make sure you rub it in. Rub it all in, rub it all in. And if you guys wanna go watch Ono Lynn, she just went live. So if you guys wanna go check her out, you're welcome to. But I'll continue cooking. So if you wanna jump over, jump back and forth, you're welcome to. So make sure you rub in your your spices or all the, all the stuff into your salmon. Make sure you rub the sides, make sure you rub the back. Make sure you get all the crevices because sometimes the salmon will fall apart and what you could do is um, make sure it gets into the crevice because once it starts cooking, all the juices and everything will go into the salmon. So I'll make sure you get the sides. Okay, let me rinse off my hands. Christmas, ye salmon ASMR. Oh yeah, making all that squishy sound. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Prestonian, howdy. What's going on, Prestonian? Good to have you on the live. How you doing, buddy? Michelle, my dinner will be shrimp scampi with pasta green salad and garlic bread. But watching you, Mr. Ryan, I think I want salmon now. Dang. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Love music. I usually put slices of lemon or oranges on my fish. Very good. Oh, yeah, you can do that, too. But um, this is my variation of it, you know. But, uh, all right. Next thing was... Let me rinse off my knife here. And the next thing you're going to want to do is grab your lemon here. The one you grate it. Cut it in half. Oh, make sure you roll it because it makes it nice and soft. It gets all the juices out, so make sure you roll your lemon. You're gonna cut your lemon in half. There you go. And then you squeeze the juice onto your lemon. Oh man, got the seed in there. Ah, oh, shoot, got three seeds in there. Okay, let me get the seeds out. Get out of your seeds. Darn it. Okay, make sure you don't cook it with the seeds. <laughs> and let me rinse off my hands again. Okay, 
Let's see. All right. So now we did it on one side. You do the exact same thing on the other side. So let's flip it. And then you coat everything just the way you want it to be coated the first time around. So this is why I bought two lemons because I've already grated the heck out of this lemon and I have an extra one here. So you grab your grater here and right away. So when you're grading, make sure you grade, but then you keep looking at you keep looking at how much you have left to grade. See, like if you look at a lemon, see how I grade it that half and I scoot it over, I grade it that half and you scoot it over and I grade it that half. So that means I have one good grade left in it. Cause you don't want to keep grading until it turns like really, really white. And then you get the center of it because it's going to taste kind of funky. It's going to taste really tart if you do it that way. But if you like tart food and you have a tart taste bud, you're welcome to do that. So when I'm grating like lemons, I always, I get all sides around and I angle the angle it just right and I'm able to get just a little bit more skin off of it. So you can even do this if you're making like lemon meringue pie. You can get the shavings of a lemon and put it on top and bake it that way. So now I'm all grated out on this lemon. And don't forget to get the bottom of it. So this is going to be like a really sweet lemony salmon here. And let me rinse this off. Let's see. All right, just like the other half, what you're gonna need is your paprika, your pepper, and your salt. But just for safety measures, I'm just going to add just a little bit more olive oil to this side. Just a little, not too much. There we go. And then now you... I'm almost running out of paprika. So, come on. There we go. Add paprika to your salmon. If you don't want to add paprika, you, you don't have to. But I've seen, I've seen the wonders of what paprika can do. So I love paprika. You know I love it because of this thing was full and then it's already almost empty. So I gotta get some more paprika. Get your pepper. And you get your salt. And then you rub it in, you rub it in, get the sides, get the back and make sure you get all the crevices. Because like I said, when a salmon is cut open or when a salmon is cut open, when a salmon is divided, sometimes it falls apart. But if it does fall apart, sometimes there are like crevices inside the salmon. So make sure you rub it in really, really good, really, really good. Okay. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna rinse off my hands real quick. up my air fryer over there because I'm gonna be making everything inside my air fryer so if you guys have an air fryer make sure you heat it up to you preheat it to 400 degrees
But uh, if you're using an oven, I think the I think the same thing might matter too. If you're using an oven, you heat up your oven to 400 degrees and you make it into like a small little uh, container so then all the heat can cook the salmon properly. But let me get back to the comments here. Uh, Annalie, what is the best olive oil to use? That's really debatable because um, there's various things people use. People like to use olive oil. Some people like to use avocado oil. Some people use canola oil. But for me, I like using this olive oil because it's in the glass. And on top of that, it tells you when the harvest date of the olive oil was. So this olive oil was harvested between the October and December of last year. See? And on top of that, it tells you when it's best by. So I use a lot of oil, olive oil. And the reason why I like using the one in the glass is because when you use olive oil in a plastic, the plastic, if it sits for so long and the olive oil is a cookable oil, the olive oil itself will break down the plastic from the inside. And you don't want the chemicals from the plastic to mix in with your olive oil because it really messes up your taste buds and it's kind of not good for you. So that's why I like using the glass olive oil. It's a little pricier, but you know, I figured that, you know, I might as well start eating healthier, you know? And sometimes I use uh, avocado oil. Mostly if I'm cooking like, uh, if I'm cooking on high heat with certain things, like uh, stir fry is good for that. And uh, if you're using a, this is even good for a steak. If you're using cast iron, this is really good because uh, avocado oil is high, is really good for when you're cooking with high temperature and you don't want your your uh, your oil to cook over. But um, I'm just using olive oil today. Let's see, Michelle, Mr. Ryan, making us Asians proud. Hey, Yazi family, drooly face, drooly face. But yes, everyone, I'm preheating my air fryer over there to 400 degrees. So what's going to happen is, once I put this in the air fryer, I'm only going to cook it for 12 minutes. So it's going to be 6 minutes on each, each uh, side. Hold on. And I'm going to put this in with the skin down. And let me show you guys what it's going to look like. Let me rinse off my hands really quick. Rinse off this plate. Move this over here. Move that over here. Give me a second, everyone. Give me a second. Comments, comments, comments. Oh, I think I'm all caught up. Yep. All right. Let me transfer you guys over there so you see what's going on over here. Okay. So this basket is already preheated to 400 degrees. And I'm going to cook this salmon for about 12 minutes. So six minutes on one side, then I'm going to flip it over and six minutes on the other. So it's going to cook this salmon perfectly. So I don't have to worry too much about it. And it's going to have like a nice crispy skin once it's done. So what I'm going to do now is put it inside my, my belt here. And then automatically it sends it to 10 minutes, but we're gonna, you can even adjust the time to 12 minutes. So I'm going to keep checking on my salmon to make sure everything's all good. So there's the countdown. And I got my vegetables ready to go. So I'm going to wait for my salmon to cook. Six minutes through is going to indicate that I should flip it over. So once it hits the six minute mark, it'll tell me to flip over the food. So I'm going to take it out and then flip the whole thing over. Then it's going to cook on the other side. So very convenient if you guys have one of these. If not, you can do the exact same thing if you have a stove top and you want to pan fry your salmon. You can grab some butter, preheat it put your salmon fillet on there and then cook it on kind of like a medium high I suppose and flip it over depending on how big your fillet is so if your fillet is really big it's gonna it's probably gonna take some time to cook in this little pan here and then make sure you cook it on one side then you flip it over then you do the other side so you can do it pan seared or if you guys don't have either of those for any reason i don't know why you wouldn't have a pan but if, in case you don't 
You can even use your conventional oven, put it to 400 degrees and bake it all the way through like let's say six minutes on one side and then six minutes on the other. So basically the same difference as you would an air fryer but I like using an air fryer because all the heat gets trapped in here and it circulates throughout the whole device. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, but yes, I'm almost done cooking. And thank you everyone for jumping on the live who's on the live. I'll be leaving this live up since it's been a good minute since I've done a cooking live. Crystal, good evening, Mr. Ryan, wavy hand. Crystal, what's up? Did you get your car fixed? How's your day going? Thank you for jumping on the live. Oh. Let's see. But thank you everyone for jumping on the live. I'm just enjoying my day, enjoying the company I have on the live, and I'm almost done cooking. Dang, I should do call-ins if anyone wants to call in. Let me see. Oh, what the hey? It's been a while since I've done a call-in. Let me see if I can put in the call-in number. Give me a second, everyone. Um, let's see, what the heck is this number? Um, give me a second, everyone. I can't remember what the phone number for this thing was. My day is going good, still at work. Yeah, ride is under maintenance. Dang, Crystal, how'd you get to work? How'd you get to work if your ride is getting fixed up? But yes, if you guys want to call in, you're welcome to. And right now I'm just cooking and my salmon is almost done. Uh, I gotta wait at the six minute mark and then once it hits the six, six minute mark, then I gotta flip it. And then once I'm done there, I'm gonna plate my salmon and I'm gonna let it rest on the plate because I can't eat salmon when it's way too hot. That and it was suggested that you should let your salmon rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook my salmon first and then after my salmon, I'm gonna throw in my vegetables. But I think my vegetables, I'm gonna through, do it in batches. So the first time I'm gonna put in my, uh, put in my potatoes because I have a lot of potatoes. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my asparagus. But thank you everyone for jumping on the live who's on the live. Um, I'll be right back, okay? So you can talk amongst yourself. Okay, I'm back. All right. Well, it's just about that time when I'm about to flip over my salmon. Good afternoon, Mr. Ryan, and join your live and taking notes. Thank you, Rosa. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen you on my live, but welcome. Um, I'll leave this live up, so if I missed any of your questions or any of your curiosities about how to cook this salmon, uh, it'll stay on the live. It'll stay on the channel, and I won't be taking it down. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, Crystal, medical transport. Just kidding. Dang, Crystal, all abusing the medical transport system. Hey, just kidding. But uh, glad you're having a good day, and I'm about to flip over my salmon. But 
let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay. So as you can see, it was really slimy when I got started, but as you can see, it's starting to form a crust on the side right here. So the salmon is going pretty good and I've cooked it through six minutes and my air fryer automatically tells me when to flip it over. So I'm gonna flip over my salmon and cook it for another six minutes. So let me put you guys down a really quick, okay? You guys can watch my vegetables. Okay, this is the inside. So this is gonna get a little charred a bit. So just giving everyone a heads up. This is gonna be really good, really, really good. So I'm gonna put my salmon back in here for another six more minutes. But you know what? I think I'm gonna add an extra minute to it because I want the chard on the skin side to be really good. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add another minute to it. Let's see what. Um, Todd, somebody call in. No way. <laughs> SC, hello, yay for your cooking live, making Navajo tacos myself. Dang, that's what's up, Navajo tacos. Uh, Norton Vicente, good evening, Mr. Chef Ryan. Thank you, Norton. How you doing? Thank you for jumping on the live. Hope you're enjoying your day. Michelle, yum. But yes, I'm almost done with my salmon. And I got some leftover lemons, so I'm going to show you guys what to do with the leftover lemons you have here. But thank you everyone for jumping on the live, for joining me. I really appreciate it. So, yep, I'm letting my salmon cook through. And once my salmon's done, I'm going to plate it. Then I'm going to put aluminum foil on it. So then that way it cools. And at the same time, it still stays just a little bit warm until my vegetables are done. I'm going to cook my vegetable in batches. So the first one that's going to go is my asparagus. I was going to do my potatoes, but there's a lot of potatoes and I need somewhere to store my potatoes. So I'm going to do my asparagus first and then I'm going to do my potatoes afterwards. Let's see, but thank you everyone for jumping on the live. Who is on the live? I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys want to call in, you're welcome to call in. The number is posted. Uh, Irene, hello, hello, Mr. Ryan. Hello, Irene, thank you for jumping on the live. How's your day going? Norton Vicente, off the clock from work tomorrow, Friday, thinking green chili enchiladas tonight. Dang, Norton be eating all good, huh? But yeah, if you guys wanna call in, you're welcome to call in, you don't have to. You can call in just to say hi, what's up, introduce yourself. You don't have to have a 40 minute conversation with me. But you're welcome to call in if you want. But right now, I'm just making my dinner. It takes a little time to prep everything, but the outcome of my dinner is always really, really good, really good. It gets me nice and full. But thank you everyone for jumping on the live. I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, before I forget also, shout out to the guy that sharpened my knife at Ace Hardware. We were talking for a while and he said he wanted to get into cooking and he liked my knife too. He said, man, it's a really cool knife. So yeah, he, and I told, I told him that I, I do cooking lives every now and then and I showed him my uh, my channel and he started following me. So if you're watching, shout out to you. I'm my apologies if I didn't catch, I, I didn't catch your name. Let's see. Love music, who taught you how to cook, Mr. Ryan? You know what, love music. Uh, I actually learned from YouTube. All these recipes, I've learned it from YouTube, and I think my sister sends me like uh, recipes every now and then through uh, it's, uh, TikTok. I don't have a TikTok myself, but she tells me about these recipes, and then I go all ham with it, or I make improvements to it. Like if I do my goulash, instead of just adding meat and pasta to it and pasta sauce, I go all out with it. I add bell peppers, I add uh, cherry tomatoes, and I add different types of pasta to it. So I like to change up recipes. But yeah, uh, most of my cooking, I learn it from YouTube or I buy cookbooks and I look through some of the recipes. So I'm self-taught. 
Uh, Irene, so far so good. Just keeping an eye on the train. Oh, on the rain. Hoping it doesn't get close. Dang, Irene, why? Rain is good for the earth. But, you know, um, I'm glad you're enjoying your day, Irene. At first, I thought you said keeping an eye on the train. I'm like, dang, Irene, I'll keep him all ready to catch the train somewhere. But, yep, my salmon is just about done, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. But I hope everyone's enjoying their day, and I hope you're enjoying the live. I really appreciate the thumbs up. And of course, can't forget the water. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Okay. You know what? Um, I went to... And I was looking at all the different types of coffee they have. They have all sorts of coffee. They got ground coffee, they got coffee that's uh, organic, they got coffee that's uh, free trade coffee. I think that's what it's called, free trade coffee. But anyways, uh, I found this coffee. It's called Power Coffee. Power Cafe. And it says Yerba Mate in Organic Coffee. And I was like, man, I gotta give this thing a try. And this bag was like 10 bucks for this small bag. But I like yerba mate and I do like coffee. So I'm gonna give this a try for my iced coffee tomorrow. And it's pretty cool. I was gonna buy it another one, I buy, buy a different coffee, but uh, I wanted to give this one a try. It looked pretty cool too. Irene, I just don't care for thunder and lightning. I hate summer rain, but I love winter rain. Dang, no argument there, Irene. I, I, I think I'm the same way too. I like winter rains and I do summer rains, but hold on guys, my salmon's over there and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let me show you guys what the salmon looks like. Okay, as you can see, the salmon skin, it is nicely charred, falling right off the salmon. But I'm going to keep it on there because I like a nice crunch to my salmon. So I'm going to plate this really quick. So let me put you guys down really quick, okay? You guys can watch all the ingredients I have. So give me a second, everyone. what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna clean out my uh, my tray for the container for the air fryer because I cooked it with salmon so I'm gonna clean it out really quick so give me a second everyone but I hope everyone's enjoying their day and I hope you're enjoying the live I really appreciate everyone for jumping on the live and I hope everyone's having a good day so far. Okay, all right. Gross. <laughs> all right, here's my salmon. Has like a nice chart at the bottom and it has the juices oozing out of it from the seasoning that I put on there. And it has like a really nice colored pink to it. So yeah, there's my salmon, everyone. Uh, I'm gonna put this off to the side for now. And I'm gonna put my asparagus inside my, put that over there. Don't fall, don't fall. Okay, so the next step is I'm gonna put my asparagus in my tray here. And for these vegetables, it's not going to cook long because the air fryer is like really hot right now. So it's going to take just a little while for me to cook these asparagus. And then once I'm done there, I'm going to go ahead and load in my potatoes. So let me put you guys down really quick. You guys can watch my potatoes. Oh, before I even do that, I have to heat up my air fryer. So let me heat up my air fryer really quick. 
Uh, vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. Uh, roast. Oh, vegetables. So give me a second, everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna let my air fryer preheat to another 400 degrees. Then I'm gonna load in my asparagus. But for my asparagus, it's not gonna cook very long. So I'm gonna set the temperature to 400 degrees and I'm gonna cook it for about four or five minutes. And these are gonna have like a nice char to it. So I'm just waiting. And my salmon is just sitting there all nice and really good, really good. I'm very excited to be my mouth is just watering looking at that salmon right now. So yes, oh yeah, before I forget, when your salmon is resting, what you could do is, now that you have an extra lemon here, you can do this. Add just a little bit of juice to it. So it's gonna be like a really lemony salmon. So yeah, man, there we go, a nice lemon salmon. So I'm going to let that rest while the lemon's trying to infuse with the salmon. So let that sit for a while. Wubba, wubba. So right now I'm just waiting for this to preheat. So then that way I can load in my asparagus. Any day now, buddy. Any day now. Whoop, whoop. There we go. So... Our, our pan here, our little container area is nice and clean because of course, like I said, I cooked the salmon in there and I had to clean it out really quick so to prevent cross-contamination. So when you're cooking with fish, you have to be very, very, well, any type of raw meat, you have to be very cautious of cooking things with each other. So I always like to clean out everything, especially if I'm cooking with vegetables then I'm cooking with salmon or meat or any other meat and I'm using the same thing make sure you clean it out but give me a second everyone okay now I get to load this right in and of course since it's only asparagus I'm gonna put the temp I'll put the timer down to like uh, uh we'll say five minutes then we'll go from there no 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 four minutes since they're there isn't that many and they're really big, so it's probably, gonna, it's probably gonna cook very fast, so I'll give it a four minutes. But in the meantime, that'll cook. I'm letting that rest, and the next thing is I'm gonna load in my potatoes. Let me flip this over. Okay. Cook, cook, cook. Um, 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 uh, Prestonian, I like November rain, you know. Oh yeah, November rain, that's a, that's a breath. That's the, that's the best. November rain. Uh, let's see. Michelle Yummers. Licky face, licky face. Irene, nice. Let me move this right here. Okay. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Mr. Ryan. I like to do this segment called Raven's Kitchen. I normally like to I normally like to do travel vlogs and exploring but every now and then i like to do cooking lives like this so if you're new to my channel welcome uh yeah welcome to my channel so the next thing i'm gonna do once my vegetables are all done i'm gonna plate it and then i'm gonna cut this lemon in half and then squeeze just a little bit more lemon onto my vegetables so my meal is gonna taste kind of lemony because of how it's air fried and sauteed just a bit and it has a nice chard, the chard and the lemon is going to complement each other so it's going to taste really good. So I just got to wait a few more minutes. But let me check it because like I said, the air fryer is really hot and when you have an air fry, all the heat circulates within a small cramped space so the cooking time gets cut in half if you're cooking anything in there. But what, um, what I wanted to cook in there one of these days was maybe like a whole chicken and I want to see how it turns out. But give me a second everyone, let me check it real quick. And let me show you guys what the asparagus looks like halfway through. Okay. 
I put it in here for four minutes and two minutes went by, so I gotta leave it in there for another two minutes, but look how green the asparagus comes back to life. So I'm gonna leave it in there for, let me see, I'm probably gonna add another minute to it, so technically it's gonna be in there for five minutes, so I'm gonna put it back in there. So I'm gonna add another minute, so it's gonna be in there for three minutes and it should be all done. And then once that's done, I'm gonna load in my potatoes. I'm just enjoying my day, enjoying you guys keeping me company. I really appreciate the thumbs up. And those of you that are now viewing, welcome to my channel. And those of you that are new, welcome, I met. Oh, but thank you, everyone. If you had a hard work day, you know, I'm glad you're jumping on. If you're at work watching me, I really appreciate it. Uh, Amy K, good evening, Mr. Ryan. Dinner looks delicious. I hope you're having a great day. Yep, I'm having a great day. I got in early, got done early. I thought I had more things to do around two o'clock, but I won't I won't have to until tomorrow. So I thought I'd do my cooking live today because I felt like jumping on the live. I was on the live earlier, but my signal wasn't working so good. So I jumped onto the live. But thank you everyone for jumping and joining me on the live today. I'll be leaving this live up. I'll be leaving this live up, so if you guys want to rewind or pause it or check to see if anything else I'm cooking, you can go ahead and just rewind it or pause it and play it as many times as you like. Um, Crystal, thumbs up. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Game Panda, hey, hey, hey. What's going on, Game Panda, with the wavy hand? How you doing? How you doing, Game Panda? Uh, let's see. Irene, mean, is salmon the only type you eat? Um, I eat tilapia. And I eat salmon, and every now and then I eat catfish, but um, I like cooking salmon because it's readily available, and it's rare that they make uh, catfish or tilapia, and especially tilapia, it comes in those little fillets, and I don't like buying the fillets, but for the salmon fillets, they come in like giant fillets, so I like salmon, but uh, maybe someday I'll make tilapia too, I think. Uh, but yeah, I like, I like tilapia. If I'm cooking with any types of fish, I always use any of these ingredients. So I use pepper, I use paprika, and I use olive oil, and I use uh, salt. So any salmon or any fish, I use the same thing. Or if you want to add a little bit of a kick to your salmon or any type of fish, you can add a... add some sriracha sauce to it or you can add pepper flakes to it if you want to have your fish have a little bit of a kick to it you can add those two ingredients to it a game panda meet the teacher at all schools in tempe trying to be on my best behavior dang game panda I'm trying to get in trouble hey just kidding but that's good though uh, amy k made chicken rice and Hold on, everyone. Hold that thought. Amy K. Okay, I remember that. Give me a second, everyone. Loading my... Boba! Got away from me. You guys what my asparagus looks like. Let me flip it over. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so here's my salmon and here's my asparagus. Nicely nicely crisp crisped up a bit. It's gonna have a bit of a crunch, but I like how it's nice and green. So yeah, there's my asparagus and my salmon. So right now I'm preheating my 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 air fryer here and I'm gonna load in my load in my my potatoes here so 
but make sure you get it. Make sure it's nicely crisp up, and I'm gonna put these babies in for probably like, I'll give it like a good 10 minutes. So I'm gonna cook them for a good 10 minutes and they should be nicely crisped up. So yes, I'm just about done with dinner. I'm really, really hungry. Let me flip this over. Whoa. Okay. All right. Where was I? Oh yeah, Amy K. I made chicken, rice, and hominy for dinner at work, but I realized I forgot my dinner on the counter at home. So water for dinner today. Dang, that sucks, Amy K. But man, I, I probably get mad too. I'm like, dang it, I forgot my dinner for for lunch. Yeah, I'd probably be mad too. <laughs> but uh, I hope you get. I hope you. But then at the same time, you have dinner waiting for you at home. Really good, really good dinner. Mel C, hello, Mr. Ryan. Gonna make some cabbage with ground beef and corn for dinner. Let's see, had oven roasted potatoes last night with chicken and okra. Dang, that sounds really exotic, you know, when people use okra. It's been a good minute since I had okra, though. But cabbage and ground beef and corn. I'm trying to see if I had that before. I don't think I've had that before. It sounds, it sounds really interesting, though. Uh, Michelle looks amazing, Mr. Ryan. Licky face. Thank you, Michelle. Game Panda. Oh, looks really good. Thumbs up. Thank you. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Mr. Ryan. This is a special segment I like to do on my channel. Raven's Kitchen with Mr. Ryan. Then I cook whatever I can. But most of the time, I like to do traveling vlogs or cook or uh, exploring vlogs to historical parts national monuments and uh, historical towns and historical sites so welcome to my channel if you're new i'm just about done with dinner and i'm gonna save this live so you guys can go ahead and rewind back or replay it as many times as you like but welcome to my channel if you're new welcome 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 to know but right now i'm drinking water I'm waiting for my my potatoes to get done, then I'm all done with dinner. But I hope everyone's enjoying their day and you're enjoying the live. I really appreciate it. Uh, Melcy, I, I think people like to have it mostly with sausage, cabbage, and corn. Sausage, cabbage, and corn. I don't think I've had that before, too. Huh. That sounds really good though. I gotta look that up. Sausage, cabbage, and corn. Mmm, but I remember my mom making a lot of cabbage soup though. That was really good though. Well, one time, it was funny. My mom was cooking and she, go me, she told me to go to the store to get a lettuce. And me as a kid, I grabbed I grabbed the cabbage because it was less than the lettuce. And I took it all the way back home. And my mom lives about 10 miles from the nearest grocery store. So I drove all the way back home and I get, and I put the cabbage on the counter. And she looks at it, she's like, you bought the wrong one. This is a cabbage. You're supposed to buy a lettuce. And I was like, mom, just use it. It's the same thing. And, and then, He's like, ah, I'm gonna go back to the store and exchange it really quick. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I'll go, I'll go back and change it out. I remember that memory. <laughs> Getting mad at my mom telling her cabbage and lettuce was the same thing. But it turns out you can actually use cabbage and lettuce almost like the same way because that's what they do with uh, street tacos. Because with street tacos, you can use cabbage or lettuce when you cut up the, um, when you cut it up into fine pieces. You can sprinkle it in the cabbage or the lettuce. It's pretty interesting, and I didn't know you could do that. But let me check on my potatoes really quick, everyone. Give me a second. Let's see. Mel C, I think people, uh, I think people use it with sausage or corned beef and cabbage. I think I heard the corned beef one, though. Christmas, it's not the same. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Uh, IDK, how many times did I grab cabbage instead of lettuce for my mom? Yep, that was me. I did that one time and I still remember that. 
<laughs> it was funny. <laughs> put all my ingredients away. I'm just sitting here waiting for my food to get done. But let me clean this up. Oh, let me flip over my So my potatoes don't have like the chart I'm looking for. So I added two more minutes onto it. But let me clean up my kitchen really quick. So then that way I don't have to get really lazy after I get done cooking. I can just say, oh, I'm already done cleaning and I can just hurry up and go to sleep. Hey, but thank you everyone for jumping on the live. Who's on the live? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So when I use oil and I'm using it inside of a pan, I always like to wipe it down so then that way I can get all the excess oil off the pan and then I can start washing it. And I've seen some people who just, who don't do that. As soon as they see oil on their, their bowl or whatever they're using, they just rinse it off with water and I'm like, why are you doing that? You're just getting more oil all over the place. So what I like to do is grab a paper towel and wipe down my my bowl I was using with the oil. So then that way you have really easy cleanup and the oil doesn't get really sticky on your hands while you're trying to wash it. But good afternoon everyone who's on the live. I hope everyone's enjoying their day and enjoying the live. Oh man, I forgot to get more dish soap. Yeah, the luck. <laughs> I was just at the store too. I guess you guys can watch me wash my dishes. Okay, that just turned into a washing dishes ASMR. But let me check my potatoes really quick, okay? Guess it's still cooking. But I hope everyone's enjoying their day and I hope everyone's having a good day. If you're having a bad day and you're logging onto my live, you know, I hope your day gets better and I hope uh, I hope my live made your day feel way better. I would angle it, but uh, I need a new tripod, so I'm probably gonna go shopping for a new tripod tomorrow. But let's see. Mel C at Yazi Family. Hello, your dinner sounds good too. Oh yeah, the lasagna. Shoosh. Homemade lasagna. Dang. When was the last time I had lasagna? You know what? I think it's been too long because it's been a good minute since I had lasagna. And if you're just now jumping on, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm almost done cooking, so you guys are gonna see the final result of of uh, my cooking. But right now, I'm just washing my dishes really quick. I have a lot, but uh, I'm just gonna wash my bowl for now. So my food is almost done, and welcome to my live, my cooking live. I normally use my dishwasher, but uh, right now I thought I'd just wash my dishes since I don't feel like loading up my dishwasher right now. But welcome to my cooking live, and if you guys missed the whole thing, uh, don't worry about it because I'm going to leave this live up.
And a little fun fact about me. Uh, I used to be a dishwasher for an Italian bistro in Scottsdale. But I guess the, the sink was really low, so I was kind of hunched over like crazy. And after that incident, I was like, no, I don't think I could do this job anymore. So I stopped working there just because of that reason. And I don't want to break. I mean, it was a really easy job. It was really fun because it was fast paced and two hour, three hours went by and I thought only an hour went by. So it was like a really fast paced job and I loved it. But, but I didn't want to break my back over a job that was physically demanding, especially on my back because I got back problems and I don't want to hurt my back over that. But yeah, it was really fun being a dishwasher for the short time I was. It was only for one weekend and I got hired on that same, I got hired on a few days before that because I was looking for some extra money and I thought I'd just go ahead and do that. So it was a really fun experience. And the cooks there, the chef, he was like a young guy. I think he was like two years older than me or two years younger than me, my bad. And oh yeah, if anyone's asking, this isn't the same towel. I use like multiple towels. So this one's like for rinsing my hand and this one's for rinsing off my towel, uh, my dishes after I wash them. So it's not the same towel. But uh, anywho, the chef was about two years younger than me. And I guess they got me on to prepping the food. And he asked me, hey, uh, where did he looked at me because he noticed how I was cutting the food and how I knew my way around the kitchen. He asked me, hey, um, where did you study if you don't mind me asking? I'm like, what do you mean? He said, you kind of know your way around the kitchen. I'm like, uh, no, nah, not really. I mean, I learned everything from YouTube. So I'm a YouTube chef, a hey. But this was way before I started doing YouTube. It was like a really fun experience. But yeah, that's my little story about being a dishwasher for one weekend. It was a fun experience though. And that's what you call a clean bowl. So let me put this away. And my potatoes are done. Looks really good, looks really good. Give me a second, everyone. Loading in my potatoes. Ah, I dropped one. Ah, I dropped two. Dang it, I'm just being clumsy with my potatoes now. But let me go ahead and do this really quick. Got right there. Unplug my air fryer and pick up those potatoes I dropped. Okay, and let me transfer this over. And let me go ahead and squeeze this last lemon onto my my vegetables. So I'm a uh, Use this last lemon to squeeze over my asparagus and my, just the asparagus, not the potatoes. It's gonna taste funny if I squeeze over the potatoes, but I'm gonna squeeze this last lemon on my asparagus. Okay, we're Gucci. Rinse off my hands. Move this over here. Put this up here. Put this extra lemon over there. Put my cutting board down here. Rinse it off really quick so. Here's the final result, everyone. Let me flip it over. And there is my salmon, my roasted potatoes, and my asparagus. So there's my cooking live, everyone. If you want to take a look at what I've made, roasted potatoes, salmon, and asparagus. But let me clip you guys right back over, okay? Because I got to rinse off my cutting board. So you guys watch the door. Okay, that's rinsed off. 
Uh, give me a second, everyone. Let me go. Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta be right back. Hold on, give everyone. Give me a second. Dang it, I forgot to wash a fork. Uh, give me a second, everyone. I gotta wash a fork. <laughs> I thought I had I thought I did, I thought I had some forks, but I guess I I just forgot to wash. I guess I forgot to wash some of my forks, but give me a second everyone. I gotta wash a fork really quick. But if you're jumping onto the live, you know, thank you very much. And I hope everyone's enjoying their day. And if you're enjoying the live, click the thumbs up if you like. If you can't, then that's cool. But thank you for tuning in onto my cooking live. I haven't done this in a good minute, so I thought I'd do a cooking impromptu live today. But let me go ahead and do this right here my fork down and yeah let me go ahead and flip this over oh sorry I flipped over okay but for those of you just now logging on here's my meal and let me flip it over so you guys can take a take a gander at it I made salmon asparagus and and uh, uh, roasted potatoes. Man, I my mind went blank there for a second. But let me flip you guys this way. There we go. Let me take my take a seat. I'm gonna flip it this way. All right. Oh man. Hmm. Let me see if I can take this off the gimbal or the tripod because the tripod doesn't seem to be doing jack. Okay, there we go. Move this over. Right there. Oh yeah, paper towel. All right. Let me read through the comments really quick. Um... Love music, uh, love music. Can you make fry bread in the air fryer? You know how to make fry. No, I don't know how to make fry bread. And as for making fry bread in the air fryer, I don't, I don't know if you can. I know you can make bread in there, but as for fry bread, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know how to make fry bread. Uh, love music, the okay sign. Melcy, that looks good. Thank you. Uh, Ronnie, yummy, looks good. Thank you, Ronnie. Good to have you on the live. Let's see. Michelle, great job, Mr. Ryan. Looks delicious. Thank you, Michelle. Game Panda, yum. Uh, Tonya, bless the food. Yep, I was just about to do that. Let me get. I'm getting through the comments real quick. Um, since you're since where you're dormant, all we need is a tip. Hey, but my food's all ready to go. And thank you for this food. Continue to watch over us all, guide us all through these hard times, and bless those who are less fortunate and. Bless those who are, that are misguided. Amen. Okay. I don't know what to dig in first. Let me try the potatoes. Mmm. Well, my nephew, well, my nephew, I think my nephew watches my cooking lives too. And when he sees me eating or he sees something really good, he says, mmm. Or when he sees me uh, watching other people cook on on YouTube, I would say, mmm. Then he runs over, he says, mmm. Lynn, hi Ryan, looks delicious. It is, it's insanely good. It's really, really good. 
Let's try the asparagus. Oh, it's nice and juicy. See, Ronnie, amen. Irene, amen. Antonia, amen. Aunties just posted a giveaway, a night out with the aunties. I better go into Geno. Dang, Christmas. <laughs> Let me try the, the salmon. See how the salmon just falls apart? That means it's nice and nicely charred and it has like a nice pink to it. So really good salmon. Ah, I just dropped it. Dang it. But thankfully it just didn't land on the floor. But let me taste the salmon real quick before I drop it again. Oh man, that's good. But um, good evening, everyone, and I hope everyone's enjoying the live. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Mr. Ryan. I just made uh, uh, roasted potatoes, asparagus, and a salmon inside the air fryer. And if you missed the rest of the cooking live, don't worry about it. Because I'm going to save this cooking live and you can go back and watch it whenever I end it. Or you could just rewind it now and try and catch up. Mm. Michelle, salmon looks like it turned out perfect. Oh, yep. Hands down. I give my salmon an 11 out of 10. Um, I do these cooking lives like once in a blue moon. I used to do them once a week, but um, it got really expensive after a while. Especially with the cost of food going up now. It's rare that I do these cooking lives. I know I've been eating out a lot, but but I love cooking. So I try not to cook too much because I love cooking and I don't want to mess up my, my favorite passion of cooking by doing it so much. But lately, I just haven't been inspired to cook. But I've been getting emails and some people on the live saying, when is, when's your next cooking live? When's your next cooking live? So you guys inspired me to do my next cooking live today. So thank you. that you have the case of the Butterfingers too. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Butterfingers. Oh yeah, because I dropped my potatoes over there earlier. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? <clears throat> Michelle, clappy hand, clappy hand, clappy ham. Ronnie, so you use the air fryer to cook the salmon? Yep, I cook the salmon. Um, depending on what kind of air fryer you have, uh, I set my air fryer to 400 degrees, and depending on how big your salmon is, my salmon was a decently good size. And I put it in the air fryer for about 12 minutes. I cooked it uh, six minutes on one side, but I wanted a nice chard on the skin. So I added an extra minute to it. So I 
cooked it on seven minutes on the other side. So total, I cooked it for 13 minutes total. So sometimes your air fryer will tell you when to flip your food, or sometimes you have to keep an eye on when you should flip over your food. But yep, I cooked my everything on this plate, I cooked in the air fryer. <clears throat> Irene, I wish we could go out to eat. My boys rather have something cooked. Mm, oh yeah, sometimes people, some people are like that, you know. Sometimes um, people want to go out to eat, but then some people prefer home cooked meals. And I love a nice home cooked meal, but every now and then, sometimes I run out of things to cook, and I don't want to cook the same thing. So I go, I go out and venture out to see what type of food I can try out. Like if there's one thing I want to learn how to make is kebabs, the way uh, the way Middle Eastern kebabs are made. I want to learn how to make that, and I want to make uh, uh, Middle Eastern uh, rice, like how it's nice and fluffy and airy. Man, I've I've made all sorts. <clears throat> I've tried all sorts of rice, but that rice, that rice is insanely good. Mm. Um, Lil Rezzy, what's up, Ryan? Nothing much, Lil Rezzy. I'm just here enjoying my meal and chit chatting with everyone that's on the live. How's your day going, man? Ronnie, okay, good to know. But yeah, um, depending on how big your salmon is determines on how long you should cook it. But um, most air fryers, they come with instructions or you can even look it up on YouTube on how people cook their salmon. If it's a popular air fryer, I'm pretty sure someone's already made a YouTube video about it. But thank you everyone for jumping on the live. Mm. Patrick, what's up, Mr. Ryan? Cool, you did a cooking live? Yes, I did. Yes, sir. I cooked everything, and now I'm just enjoying my meal, enjoying everyone's company. My, my apologies if I'm being quiet. The food's really good. But let me get a refill on these potatoes real quick. I'll be right back, everyone. Then potatoes are good. Potatoes. see what shows have you been into lately lately we've been watching evil on prime and the offer both really good um you know what i have not been watching any shows lately oh no 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 my bad 
the show I've been watching lately was um, Better Call Saul season six. It's the final season. It's the pre season to um, it's the pre it's the pre show before Breaking Bad. I've been watching that, and I think that's the only thing I've been watching lately. Other than that, I've just been I've been working and watching everyone's live. And driving around, and traveling, and exploring. Oh yeah, I gotta take my my vitamins too. But yeah, the only thing I've been watching was uh, Better Call Saul season six. I think I missed season five because I was watching season six and I was sitting there like I don't remember any of the stuff happening. Lorezzi got got off work early today because of the rain was a good day. Dang, that's what's up. I'm drinking water for those of you wondering. I always carry my water in this giant container because it keeps it nice and cold and it keeps me motivated to keep drinking more water. So I try to drink at least a gallon or two a day. Um... Mel C, oh yeah, I haven't got into Better Call Saul, but Breaking Bad was so good. Yep, Breaking Bad was really cool. And I even like El Camino. El Camino was pretty good too. Mel C, The Bear on Hulu is a great show about a chief. If you watch it, make sure to eat and have food while... Or have food to eat while watching it. Dang. That sounds like a fun, that sounds like a fun time though. But yeah, the only show I've been binging was the Battle Call Saul. Oh yeah, and the other one too, everyone kept talking about the mm, Darkwing. I was watching that too. But I understand what people were talking about how <clears throat> on how Everything was supposed to take place in in Gallup, and yet they're like hours away, and everything took place in Monument Valley, and it, it was like all over the place. And the native uh, and how people were they were trying to speak Navajo. It was it wasn't it wasn't accurate. <laughs> It's like, I don't speak Navajo, but I understand it, and I honestly didn't understand what they were talking about. <laughs> I was like, what? But I was reading the subtitles, though. Love music. Can't wait for the new new movie, Prey. Yeah, Prey is, uh, is a fun one. <clears throat> Native guy, Capasto, just tuning in. How's the food tonight, chef? You know, the food's pretty good. I'm just, um, I'm just talking with everyone here about what shows I've been watching lately. And I'm just enjoying my food. But, Native guy, thank you for jumping on the live, man. Uh, you know what? I might not actually finish this because I'm actually getting a little full. I added too many flavors and it's getting me full just by tasting it. <laughs> so what's that movie about the prey? Just take this down. Mm. Mm. 
but yep, I'm enjoying my day. I'm enjoying the live, and it's really awesome. Uh, Prestonian and the new season and reservation. Oh, they came out with the new season? Because that's the show I'm getting into, too. Reservation dogs. Ah, Prestonian, getting my hopes up, man. <laughs> August 3rd. Dang, so that's next week then. Mm. Love music. Look it up. It looks really good. Natives versus Predator. Dang. I'll probably look it up then. Not now though. Probably later. Oh man, yep, this is why I eat early because I know I'm gonna get full and I let my food settle the rest of the evening. The food's really good, so I'm really focusing on the food, but I'm still keeping up with the comments. So if you guys want to ask any questions or talk amongst yourself, you're welcome to. Mm, Gerald Milford, what was the name of the Chinese restaurant? Navajo Urban. Oh, that restaurant? Give me a second. There you go. called Big Hang. Uh, I ate there Nav with Navajo Urban and Pablo. And just this past weekend, I ate there again with Navajo Urban and his wife, Susie. He was not kidding when he said it was really good Chinese food. Milford, okay, thanks. We're in town. We want to try it out. Yep, it's really good. 
if there's one thing I would recommend is the wonton soup and um, the chicken teriyaki. Man, it's really good. But yeah, um, go check it out. And if you guys don't know, Navajo Urban just went live. So if you guys want to go check out his live, uh, you're welcome to. I'll probably end up my live here in about a good 20 minutes. Mm, love music Navajo Man and Navajo Urban are going live here in a bit you know Gerald Milford thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up yep no problem man uh, Game Panda so Ryan what would you buy if you want a mega million I'll tell you what I do first things first I would pay all the taxes on there beforehand so make sure you get the taxes out of the way and after that I pay off all my debt, reinvest a good 100,000 in all of my, in my company, another 100 in my other company, and another 100 in another company. Then I'd probably give a million dollars to my brother-in-law and my sister, I'd take my dad and my mom and dad out to a shopping spree, buy me a house, nothing too over not a mansion or anything, probably like a small three bedroom, two bath, or maybe two bedroom, two bath. Or no, 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 scrap that. No house. I'd buy an apartment complex, build me like the biggest, and then add a, do an add on to it. So then that way I'm the one that, I'm the only one that has the biggest apartment out of everyone there. And then live in that apartment complex and charge everyone like a good amount. So then that way I can live there for free. And then the rest of it, I'll probably just put it back into my retirement. But still keep working. I'm not going to quit my job. Well, technically, I don't have a job, but I'd still keep working. Yep, that'd be my plan if I won that much. Hmm. Darla Dosa, good evening, Mr. Ryan. Good evening, Darla. Thank you for jumping on the live. Hope you're enjoying your day and evening. Tonya, have a good rest of your evening, Ryan. God bless you and be safe. Thank you. Uh, thank you for jumping on the live, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of your evening, and I hope you enjoyed the live. I forgot I had dropped some seeds in here. I had to make sure I don't eat the, the lemon seeds. Jerickson just went live too from the little um, from Kaibato. So if you guys want to go check out his channel too, you guys are willing to go check out the live. Like I said, I'll probably end up the live here in like the next um, 15 minutes. <sighs> oh man, I'm almost full. Uh, Erickson Billy, good afternoon. What's up, Erickson? Good to have you on the live. I hope your day is going pretty good. Me, I'm just about done having dinner, then I'm gonna call it a day. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, before I forget, let me show you guys what I've been up to while I was traveling to the national parks. Okay, so for those of you that are new, welcome to my channel. I like to travel national monuments and national parks. So right now, I'm keeping record of every national park I've been to in these little uh, passport book. Here's actually the first one I ever got. 
So it gives you like a small little map of the national parks within the air, um, within the United States. And it's color coded based on which region it is located in. See? Pretty cool. But um, I didn't know about this bigger one, so I went and upgraded to this bigger one. So let me show you what the bigger one looks like. This right here is the passport to your national park collector's edition. So, of course, it's just like the other one, but it's more detailed and it's color coded based on which region you're in. And right now, I'm working on the western region. And let me see. Give me a second, everyone. And there's like a checklist on all the national parks within the uh, western region. So right now, I checked off uh, Castle Grand Ruins because um, I went there yesterday. And I got to redo this whole thing because I already traveled to four national parks. And I got to redo them and record, record it for my book. And right here, see? I went to Casa uh, Grande and they have like their own miniature stamp so I put it on this end and here's a stamp of the date of where I went which was yesterday and they have their own specific stamp for their area so that's what this whole book is about recording different stamps within the national monuments of each mon national monument within the United States so I need to redo the one I've been to of uh, bon uh, Bandelier so that was my last vlog, so I need to go there again, but I'm keeping record of all the places I've been to. And it even comes with its own map too, so we can use the map. Also, another thing I got was this right here. It's called the travel stamp. So it's kind of like the same thing, but um, within the national parks, each park has their own miniature stamp. And right here, I've already got two stamps. I got the one I went to Bandelier, so it's a little, it's like its own stamp. And there's like a little miniature informational thing about Bandelier. And I went here yesterday, like I said, I went to Casa Grande and it has its own stamp. And there's like its own miniature uh, bio about it. And you can even put notes on here too if you want. So when I went there yesterday to Castle Grand, this is what I said. Random trip here and second time here. Then I put the first time I was there. So I put the date on there. And the theater was nice. If you guys don't know about national parks, they have their own miniature theater. So you can go inside and watch the theater. And it tells, gives you like a brief history of the national park. And right here at the Bandelier, I put my trip here was fun. Also, the landscape was simply breathtaking. Well, I'll definitely be back, and I put a little asterisk on there, so I have to be back here. So, yep, I got this right here, and I got the other thing there. So that's what I've been doing while also traveling to national parks. But let me back, get back to your comments, everyone. Um, Personian, isn't the Mega Million like almost... Eight million, eight hundred million, or something. That's a lot of money. I'd be giving ten thousand each to my favorite YouTubers. Haha, <laughs> damn, Prestonian. Does that mean I'm your double favorite? Hey, just kidding. Let's see, Erickson Billy. It's moving along here. Been baking since one p.m. I have to bake six hundred. Dang, that's a lot. That's a lot, Erickson. That's a lot of cookies. I uh, love music. You eating in front of me got me hungry. So Lola's Hawaiian food. Here I come. Enjoy the rest of your evening boss god bless you man thank you love music for jumping on and i hope you enjoy the rest of your evening save me some hawaiian rolls hey michelle that's really cool mr ryan thank you uh ronnie oh wow that's a great idea where did you get the book uh the book i got on amazon but this one right here i got this one at the national park itself and as for the little miniature stamps you can only get them at national parks they don't look, i think they sell them online but of course, me personally, I went inside and I bought the, the stamps to those parks, but, and also you can even record where you've been too, see? It has like a little, has like a miniature uh, index of uh, the place and you can even put the date on there. So it's pretty cool. Let 
but let's see. Um, uh, Carmen Navajo, what's up, Mr. Ryan? Your dinner looks good. My mister made us chicken and baked potatoes with salad on the side. Dang, that sounds good, though. Uh, Carmen Navajo, hello, everyone in the chat. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that on how I'm recording every national park I've been to. Uh, I had it recorded in this smaller book right here. And let me see. Um, like right here. When I went to Bandelier, it has its own specific stamp. See? It has Bandelier and it has the birds on there. And it's pretty cool. So I have to redo this one and go back to Bandelier one of these days. And of course, the other places I've been to, uh, Montezuma Castle and Tezogi National Park. So I've been here too, but um, I need to redo it in my book I have up there. So I'm probably going to revisit those places again and redo my whole book. But so far, I got a good start on the, on the Casa Grande one. And maybe, just maybe, on Sunday, I'll be going out to another national park. So I'll be taking my book with me. Uh, I'm just going to see how this weekend plays out. And if you guys don't know, also, I'll be driving across country. So I'll be taking my book with me and I'm going to be planning out the places I'm going to stop. Hopefully I'll be able to hit up like three or four national parks on my way coming back to Arizona. Michelle, hey, Carm. Tafoya. Tafoya. Nah, I'm not gonna, even going to say it. <laughs> I know someone's going to correct me. Carmen Navajo. Smiley face, smiley face. Amy K. Good evening, Carmen Navajo. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because, um, I don't know. It's fun showing, showing people that because that's what gets me inspired to travel more and and I wanted to start a scrapbook, and I was like, that's better than a scrapbook. That's actually places where I can record the dates of where I've been, you know. Oh, yeah, let me show you guys a sticker I got, too. Uh, when I went to Bandelier, there's they sell stickers at Bandelier in each national park, and I bought this there too. My logo, a raven, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I bought this at Bandelier, and this other one right here. I bought this at Montezuma Well in Camp Verde. It's holographic. So I'm not going to really use this, it's just really cool and I put it on my fridge. Let's see. Mel C, that's a cool book, I need to get one of those. We did three parks in a few days too, it was fun. But yeah, um, in each national park they have like a little miniature stamp area. and. Some parks they have uh, they have what they call is a stamp marker, and the stamp marker indicates that uh, you are at the park. Not all parks have it though. See, this is a stamp marker. It gives like a picture of the park, and it gives like a little small description of it. But um, I think the new ones they have out now, because like I said, not all parks have them, so. They, the new ones look like this though. Uh, let me see. They look like this. They give you like a picture of the place. And they give you like a really big description of what it looks like. But like I said, I'm going to redo the bandolier one. Next time I'm in New Mexico.
the seeds. Wubba, wubba, wubba. But yep, um, if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. And I just went through explaining my national park books. But Mousy, that's pretty cool though. Mm. Mm, man, that was good. Hey Mickey, I need to stop watching and laugh out loud. I'm starving and have about eight hours left of work. Dang, that's all crazy. I hope you get something to eat though, uh, Amy Kay. <clears throat> Darla Dosa, you're making me hungry. Damn. But, um, thank you everyone for joining me on this cooking live. I just now joined the Clean Plate Club. It was simply good, amazing. Uh, I'll be leaving this live up, so if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna remake the the recipe, it'll stay up. And if you have any questions about the recipe, um, you can probably just put it in the video description or whenever I go live again, um, you can just ask me directly. But uh, thank you everyone for joining me this evening. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click the like button, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not already. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, this is a segment on my channel called Raven's Kitchen. So once in a while, I like to do cooking lives because cooking is one of my interests I like doing. And most of the time, I, I'm out exploring or traveling national parks, monuments, or historical towns. So thank you everyone for joining me today. Go check out Jerickson and or Navajo Urban. They're live doing their show at Kaibato, so go check them out. And I'm out, everyone. Have a good night.